Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at actions. So we have the form that we've been working with throughout these videos and what I want to do is customize the way that you can save the form. So what you'll notice on the form itself is of course we've got the standard save and cancel buttons on the form and uh, what we can do is actually go and have a look at these uh, actions that are behind those save and cancel buttons. So as I click onto the configure actions the action builder is launched and we can see what that button is actually doing. It's doing a uh, save form and also a close form. So what I want to do is add a little bit more logic uh, behind that button. So uh, what I can do is just simply go through and add some additional actions uh, to this particular uh, button. And uh, we could do that on that button or if we wanted to, we could actually remove these buttons altogether and um, we can go through and add our own buttons. So as we click onto the, uh, the plus uh, with inside the form, you'll notice here we've got button with actions and clicking onto that will actually give me my own uh, button where I could also start to, uh, to build some actions behind a, a custom button on the form. Um, but I'm just going to simply work with the, uh, with the existing uh, save button. So let's remove that OK button I just added. And we'll uh, select the configure actions against the save. And on here, the close form is going to be the last thing that we want to occur during the sequence of events or the sequence of actions. Um, and uh, Lightning Forms will recognize that. So as I click on to add action, notice that this goes before the close form action. So we've got the new action and we can provide a, a different title, we can add conditions as well and then also select the type of action. For example, one of the actions that I might want to perform is sending out an email to the person inside the email field on a contacts list. But of course if that hasn't been uh, completed, if it's uh, containing a null value, uh, then we don't want to see the uh, the action fail, uh, we still want the form to uh, to save and close. So we can set that there as the condition for this action occurring. So in here, what we're going to do is just um, do exactly that. I'm going to choose the send email action. Um, so notice I didn't set a title because it will actually uh, just give you the title of send email, the name of the, uh, the action, but I could um, customize that title if I wanted to. We've then got some different parameters for sending an email. So we've got the from, to, carbon, carbon copy, blind carbon copy, subject and body uh, on there. So um, what we can do is either hard code these with, uh, with certain values or we can get the context of the form uh, to, uh, to populate some of these values. So the email being sent from, I'm actually going to go through and select the current user's email and uh, that's who the uh, the sender will be. So as we go through and expand the context objects under user, we can get the user's email. So that's uh, at user.email is who the email is going to be sent from and who it's going to be sent to is the email address on the form. So we'll uh, double click onto that and that's just going to straightforward use that email field and we can provide a subject and a body. So the subject might be uh, created contact details for you and uh, we'll add a bit of a body message saying please confirm that these contact details are correct and what we can do is uh, start to insert on there also some of the, the different fields on the form if we if we wanted to. Okay, so that's going to be a send email action. Uh, we could add another action as well. And uh, the other action uh, might be that we want to give the user some feedback. So I'm going to choose a show message. And there's different um, styles of message that we can choose from. So this is going to be a, a status message. And we can choose to have that status display for X amount of seconds. Uh, it's going to be a success, which will give me the green sort of banner. And we'll just have uh, successfully submitted. And in here we'll have a successfully saved contact details as the message that's, uh, that's sent out. So that's uh, another action. And uh, we won't add any more, but just to point out 
um, some of the different things that you can do on here. So we can add list items, uh, not to just this list, but we can specify a, another list in another site, specify the content type and so on that's used for that. Uh, we can also um, close the form, of course. We can delete a list item. Uh, you can execute script, so you can uh, build your own script in here uh, if you like. Uh, we've got a HTTP request as well, which can also be used for uh, triggering a flow. Uh, you can open up list forms. We can reload the form, uh, so on and so forth. And uh, there's also things like start workflow or set a form field value, uh, et cetera, that you can uh, select as part of your actions. Um, so I'm just going to uh, go through, let's remove that one. So we've just got the save form, send email, show message and close form. And uh, we'll hit save on that. And that is now our customized button. So let's give that a go. Let's, uh, first of all, actually add the email because I think I removed that from a previous uh, video. So we've, uh, we've got the email field back on the form. So let's save it. And now we can navigate back to that contacts list. Let's create a new contact. So we'll have our first name, our last name. You can see the, uh, the full name is now automated. And we'll put in here my email. Uh, no need to fill out the other fields, and I'm just going to hit uh, save on that. So that's saving the item. We've got the message appearing here, and there's our email. And now the form closes. Many thanks.